Hi Taurus and welcome to your daily tarot advice and weekly tarot forecast. <clears throat> this will be for the week of December 24th through December 30th, 2018. I will start the reading off by pulling a card for your overall energy for the week and then I will pull a card for each individual day. Also Taurus, I will not have time to do the love readings for this week so I will pull a few romance cards at the end of this reading just to give you a bit of advice in regards to love and romance. Okay, so this week your overall energy is meditate. It says Breathe in positive energy through meditation and open your heart. Whispers received in a clear mind will enable you to see a situation clearly. So Taurus, this week is all about clarity and you coming into deep understandings. Um, and this could be about anything. This is a general reading. So the less that you overanalyze and, you know, spin stories in your head and worry and all of that, the better off you are this week. Like spirit is saying, listen Taurus, relax your mind. Don't think about solutions. Don't think about the future. Don't think about all the whys and hows and just Taurus this week. Just have a very pure mind. Don't worry about everything because all the answers and solutions and clarity is right there before you. But you might be so encompassed in trying to figure out the plan, seeing the way, trying to understand all of those things that you're actually blocking yourself from seeing it. It's like right there. So this week, Taurus, just take a deep breath and say, Spirit, show me the way. Show me the clarity. Show me all that is right before me that is the tools to help me and assist me and answer the questions that I've been putting out there. It is right there, Taurus, I promise you. So let's pull a card for each day this week. Ooh, okay. Um, karmic partner. That's what a lot of this is about for you guys. Karmic partner can be romance. Um, friend, family, coworker, uh, somebody you have to work on a project with if you're in school, like it could be anybody. Some of you, it's like you're really at a loss about what to do in regards to a karmic partner or situation, all right? Again, it's like quiet your mind, calm your mind, Taurus, this week, and you, the answers and solutions will all come to you, or what's really going on is going to come to light. You will not be left in the dark. All right, so we're going to go day by day. Okay. All right, so Monday we have solitude. Nice. Um... Some of you could find yourself alone on Monday um, just because, you know, we're right around a holiday that is very popular. I don't really see, like, a whole lot of you being alone. I mean, some of you could be, um, but I get the sense is you're really wanting to be alone or you are surrounded by people, but you're just kind of really inside yourself on Monday. You've got a lot going on in your head, but Taurus... We've got to get out of our head and just let the energy flow because everything you need is right there. On Tuesday, we've got to have patience. Um, this is the holiday. It, have patience with others. Have patience with the situations. Have patience with yourself. On Tuesday, it's just things are what they are. Taurus, and as you just accept and move through it, it's so much easier. So have patience. Oh, on Wednesday, we have the victim card. So, um, this here is either a person that you're dealing with where it's just like, it, they're always the victim. It, it's always somebody else's fault. They're always blaming everybody else and you're having to deal with them and you're just like, oh, I just, I want to just beat my head against the wall. Like, I can't offer you advice or if this is, you know, somebody very closely woven in your life, Taurus, if it's just the same thing over and over and over and over, it's time to clear your mind so that you can come into a new solution or new way of handling this person in that situation because with this, you just, you can't go at it anymore. You can't 
keep putting up with them and dealing with them like you you legit don't feel like you can take it anymore on Thursday yes things are looking up and look at that right under the meditation card ascending you know what to do Taurus Thursday is the day of clarity of insight of things clicking of the energy shifting so Thursday is a very good day for you guys um, things are going to make sense. You're going to know what to do. So if there's any like confusion and, you know, slow moving energy and all of that by Thursday, you have the answers and you're like, all right, I know what I need to do here. Friday, we are healing. Very nice. We're feeling good. Saturday received. Excellent. And Sunday is summer. Perfect. So Taurus, listen, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday look a little challenging. Um, more about who you're dealing with and just having a lot on your mind. By Thursday, though, things are shifting. Things are turning around, and now we're feeling better. The energy is healing in ourselves or with other people. On Saturday, you really are receiving messages as well. So Thursday and Saturday look like the two days where this clarity really comes into place on Sunday with the summer energy. Um, you know, your question about when will all of this be sorted out? Well, by summertime or um, the answer, there's something more forthcoming to this situation that you experienced this week in the summer months. Um, also, summer energy, things are warm, heating up, feeling better, healing. So Taurus, ultimately, this is a, this is a good week. You're going to come into a lot of clarity and understanding just about certain things going on that have been going on and you're finally rising above, up, out of it. And it's just, it's good energy here. It just be weary of this person on Wednesday. It's just like always the same old thing with them. All right, Taurus. So let's pull some um, a card here to see what the advice is for the week for you guys. All right. So we have earn it. It says abandon your ego and work towards your goal one step at a time. Education, virtue, and diligence allow a soul's inner wisdom to manifest itself. There is no shortcut. You must earn it. Okay, so um, this to me, I feel has more to do with this energy, this victim mentality that you've been dealing with in another person. And honestly, Taurus, it might be where you finally just got to put it out on the line and be like, look, you've got to you know, fix your life. You've got to own your behavior. You've got to realize you know that you can't blame everybody else and if you want to get anywhere you want to achieve this you want to do that like you've got to work for it so this to me is more like the advice that you have to give to whoever you're dealing with here okay and Taurus if there's somebody who just always wants shortcuts and take the easy way out like you should really shed yourself of them and that energy because it's not going to get anybody anywhere it's like you know, you can maybe get away with a shortcut, but somewhere down the road, you're going to have to make up for it. Like, you can't um, steal energy, right? It's got to balance out. Everything is in balance and in order. So even though somebody might think they're getting away with something, they're really not because come, you know, later down the road, they're going to have to give that energy back somehow, some way. So, you know, just do everything 100% by the book, by the directions this week, and also, you know, offer that advice to somebody else if they come your way. So, Taurus, let's take a look at your love and romance energies. Um, just a brief little mini read. As I said, I can't, I don't have time to do a full-on love read for each sign. So, over here we have Embrace. Taurus, this is saying embrace the energies that are and realize you cannot change anybody. You can only change yourself. And over here we have tantric union. I like, I don't know if you can, no, you can't see that. So I like that they have um, very similar imagery on here. 
Taurus, I feel like you and a partner are very much in tune, in sync with each other this week. Or, you know, if this victim person is your partner where you're kind of sick of dealing with that, um, again, you've got to give them the, the talk, the speech of, look, you've got to own yourself, you've got to do this, you've got to do that, you're not a victim of circumstance or of life, you know, you have control, you have power, so if you've been holding your tongue, Taurus, it's time to speak your truth there and let them know, you know, that they are more in control than they think they are, um, but ultimately, Taurus, you and another person look very close, very connected, very bonded with each other this week, um, maybe even like your relationship is kind of going to a, a different level. It's ascending somehow, some way. And you guys might be making big plans for the summertime, okay? So let's pull some more cards. All right, so we have past life relationship. And we have unrequited love. Okay, so let me sit with that for a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, Taurus. Um, some of you, listen, there may be somebody returning into your life, uh, or just trying to like, if, and you're like, no, I'm not interested anymore. Or if you've been trying to like break up with somebody in a relationship, they're just, they're not getting the memo, but that might be why it's time you've got to really tell somebody what's up, okay? Like, no, we're never going to be, again, like, I'm not interested in us ever getting back together or anything along those lines. Like, it's really, it's over and bye, you know? Don't sugarcoat. Really have the message come through loud, strong, and clear so that they get it. Like, they know that you're over it. You've moved on from it. Um, those of you in committed relationships, I really get the sense of where we've been in a struggle, you know, we're overcoming that this week, okay? Because we have tantric union with unrequited love. And I just, this is like, we haven't been seeing eye to eye. We've been fighting. We've been fussing. So it's shifted our perception of how we feel about each other. But this week, we're overcoming that because we have such a strong soul connection that's kind of like overriding everything. And that may be the area of your life where you can't overthink things and you just got to kind of go with the flow. And, you know, you and your partner talking, communicating, opening up is what's going to allow you to move beyond this energy, this struggle where you guys, you know, ascend to a higher commitment, a higher understanding. But ultimately, Taurus, I see you and another individual feeling very connected with each other, with tantric union and embrace over here. So let's pull some advice. Some of you might have two people that you're kind of dating or seeing, and it's like one of them you're really all about, and the other one you're not. <laughs> and it's just, you've got to be real, Taurus. The one you're not into, let them go, and the one that you are into, you know, just put yourself out there and see what could happen. Um, if it's a very slow-moving relationship, I feel like definitely by summer we'll know where we stand and what's up and, you know, what's going to happen with the relationship. So, think twice is what this, what your advice about love and romance is for this week. And it says, no matter your level of power or success, set aside your pride and prepare for the unexpected. Don't underestimate the situation. The outcome may be altered if you examine the viewpoints and approaches of others before taking action. Yeah, Taurus, um, that's why I'm feeling you and another person, if you guys have really been in the struggle and just kind of butting heads and because of that feeling like, oh, maybe we don't belong together or this relationship has truly run its course, um, if we just communicate and really open up with each other, it's like you guys can come to a new understanding and ascend from this heavier energy, okay? So really think twice about everything you do and say in regards to love and romance 
this week but overall Taurus it looks good little heavy in the beginning but the week really smooths out quite nicely and some of you it looks like we have a lot of plans for summer okay or this uh, connection between you and another person really heats up in the summertime so those are your messages Taurus I'm wishing you all the best take care